morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. I wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through what you'll see when you come into a church for any of our services. After, uh, you know, making reservations because we can only have a limited number, only nine people in the congregation, plus what is behind in the iconostas. We're very limited by the government and by the archbishop. So when you come into church, um, you'll notice in the hall that there's a table with instructions, hand sanitizer, a place to put your donations, and some masks. So if you already have a mask, please bring it to church. If you don't have one, there's one there for you to take and to reuse. Take it home with you and keep using it. And as we walk into the church, you'll notice that things are a little bit different. The hall's a little bit different because it's not being used. So when we walk into the church, you'll see that the candle stand and all this is the same, but on the floor there are blue X's. There, these are the places where we're allowed to stand in the congregation so that we maintain distancing. These blue X's, these lines on the floor are to keep us separated even while we're lining up uh, to take communion. Everybody has a mask on and we walk up to get uh, one at a time and take communion. These lines are all helped here to help us remember how far six to eight feet away is even the choir. We only have two people singing in the choir and so there's X's there for them. And so we're trying to do whatever we can. We sanitize everything in the church after every service. We're using um, alcohol to sterilize the spoons. Between people, I'm asking people to just open their mouth and tilt back their head so I can just drop the communion in there so that there's no chance of cross-contamination on the spoon. We know that we're not worried about the body and blood of Christ being contaminated, but um, if people accidentally touch the spoon, you know, there's all that. So. We're following the mandate or the procedure of the Patriarchate of Moscow, which has been doing this procedure with rotating spoons for about a month, and it seems to work pretty well. So we're, we're doing that. Everybody's wearing masks except to uh, take communion. And then immediately after the service, after the final dismissal, there's no kissing, there's no touching. I just bless people with a cross and everybody leaves through the double doors back out into the parking lot. Um, we're not allowed to have any conversations. Uh, I am able to have counseling and confession, but I have to maintain a mask and I have to maintain eight feet separation even in, con in confession. So I've been blessed to listen to confession from eight feet away and then at the prayer of absolution I just lift the uh, epitrochelia and the stole toward the person who's confessing. No laying on of hands, no touching each other. We're trying our best here to see what we can do to maintain safety for our parishioners. And we understand that some people are not going to feel very comfortable coming even now, and that's okay. So all I'm doing is I'm reminding you that we're trying to do the best that we can to keep everybody safe. And I think if everybody follows these procedures, um, we'll at least stay safe and the church will not be a source of scandal. The church will not be a source of lawsuits. The church will not be a source of spreading the virus. So that's the best we can do at this point in obedience to our Archbishop. The blessing of the Lord be with you. Christ is risen.